Hi, I am Damien Masson, a PhD candidate at the University of Waterloo, and this is work that I have done with my supervisors Sylvain Malacria, Daniel Vogel, Edward Lenk, and Jerry Cazier. It's about Child Detective, a semi-automatic tool to perform data extraction on vector charts. So first of all, what do I mean by data extraction? Well, let's say you have a chart and you want to recover the data that was used to create the, this chart. In that case, what you would do is that you would project each data points on the x-axis and y-axis, and then you would read the corresponding values, trying to estimate each data points. So why would you want to do that in the first place? Well, you might want to compare your technique against the state of the art, for example. But if the other papers on, only present charts of their results, then you will need to extract the, the values from these charts. Or maybe your chart is deceptive and makes comparison difficult. Well, if you can recover the data, you could recreate that chart using a bar chart, for example. You could also make an existing chart accessible to colorblind people. Or you could turn it black and white to make it printable without using colors. You could also make the chart interactive and put it on your website. Or perhaps most obvious, maybe you don't trust the analysis that was made and you would like to run a different analysis. Well, again, if all you have is a chart, then you will need chart data extraction to do that. So plenty of use cases. But how can we turn that chart into a table? You could do it manually with a ruler on paper or on your screen. If you don't care too much about accuracy, then that might be fine. If you want to be a bit more accurate, there are systems accessible online to help you. For example, this one is called Webplotgitizer, but it gets a bit tedious to, you to do if there are a lot of points. So instead of manual systems, there has been some research on fully automatic approaches, but for reasons I do not have time to detail here, they are extremely limited in what they can do. Instead, the, al the alternative that was proposed in chart sense was to use a semi-automatic system that tries to take the best of both worlds. Chart sense works by using a top-down approach where first it detects the type of chart. So is it a line chart or bar chart or pie chart? Uh, and then it chooses the right heuristics to help users as much as possible. But what if the chart is unconventional? For example, that's a chart I found in a Kai paper. Is that a line chart or a bar chart? What if the wrong heuristic is used? Plus, some values are overlapping. It's not super clear. Same with this chart. Is it a scatter plot or a line chart? And again, so many points are overlapping. The user will probably have to help the system with them. And more importantly, we will always be limited by the accuracy of the image. For example, here, because the resolution is low and the points are overlapping, it will be impossible to recover accurate data. So with Chart Detective, we are taking a different route. Our idea is to look at another dimension in the space of solution. And we consider the input format of the image. Instead of focusing on raster images, we considered vector graphics, which are common online and in documents. And we propose Chart Detective, the first semi-automatic tool that works on vector graphics. So our first big idea is to leverage vector graphics because they store geometric shapes in floating point coordinates instead of pixels. As a result, the resolution is much higher and we can even recover elements hidden or overlapping. The second big idea is to move away from a top-down approach. Instead, we use a bottom-up approach where the focus is on the different encoding present in the chart. Then, we can decide on the heuristic based on these encodings. And the third big idea is to leverage the information that the vector format is giving us. And one example of that is through a filtering feature. It is straightforward to recognize colors and shapes, and those can be used as filters to ease selection. So before I give you more technical details, let me give you a demo of the tool. Here, I loaded the PDF directly into Chart Detective. Then I scroll to the figure I want to extract and select it. It then loads the figure into the extraction tool. The first step is always to select the axis. So the Y axis and the X axis. Then I can select the elements I want to extract. For example, here I'm interested by the yellow bars, so I can first filter by color. 
and then take the bars and drop them in the appropriate drop zone. Immediately, the chart is reconstructed and I can double check that the extraction was correct. Then I can repeat the same process for all the other elements on the chart and that I want to recover, of course. So here I will extract all the lines. And that's pretty much it. Now I have the data fully recovered and I can download it. All right, so how does it work? First, we modified a PDF viewer to be able to recover geometric shapes from charts. Then, the system preprocesses the extracted shapes from the chart. The goal is to clean up the shapes and give a consistent representation that can be easily interpreted later. Then, we calculate descriptors that represent shapes and colors. These descriptors will then be used for the filtering and need to be resilient to some variations. And once we have that, the last step is to apply specific heuristics depending on the encoding that we are dealing with. All right, so now I'm going to move on to how we evaluated Child Detective. And our first research question was, can people use it? And to know, th to know that, we conducted a user study with 12 participants. The participants had to extract a couple of charts that we found in Kai papers. So one bar chart, one line chart, one scatter plot, and one box plot. We choose those types of charts because they are the most common. But participants also extracted more complicated charts, including four that were a mixture of different encodings, for example, a bar chart combined with a line chart, or a box plot combined with a scatter plot. And they also extracted four charts that had a lot of data points that were sometimes overlapping. Overall, we found that participants were extremely successful in completing the task. It took them less than three minutes per chart on average, and they achieved really high accuracy for all charts, as you can see in the table. In terms of subjective results, participants were also extremely positive about the tool. They gave it an excellent score on the system usability scale, and they rated all its features as useful on a Likert scale. The comments during and after the study were also extremely positive. So altogether, these results suggest that participants can use Child Detective. But it does not tell us how accurate the extracted data is. And remember that some use cases require very accurate data, for example, if we want to rerun the analysis. That's why we conducted a second experiment to precisely measure the quality of the data recovered. And to do that, we collected a data set of charts for which we know the ground truth underlying data. The first half of the data set is generated using public data and different generators such as Excel, ggplot2, Plotly, and Matplotlib. But to have even more diversity, we also wanted real charts obtained from real papers. So we mined charts from papers published at CHI in the last five years, and we looked for those that had their dataset available. We found that less than 0.5% of, uh, of published papers published their data. So that did not make for a lot of charts, only 26 um, that we were able to reconstruct properly. And with that, that makes the dataset of charts for which we know the ground truth underlying data. We then extracted the data from these charts using both web logicizer and chart detective. We then compared the data obtained in both cases using the average relative error for each uh, data points. And overall, the data had a much lower error rate for vector charts and using chart detective. And with these results, if I go back to the task I presented in the beginning, we can be fairly confident that chart detective will support most of these tasks. Before I end the talk there, I want to talk about Edward Lenk. As you may know, Ed passed away last year. He was my supervisor, and this project would have not been possible without him, all his help, advice, and constant support. He was here from the beginning of this project, and actually passed away only a week after the user study was completed. So I just want to take this time to remember and thank Ed. Thank you. If you are interested, the source code and the tool are accessible online.